literally called OBJ and Justin Bieber was giving him a BJ. Looks like it. There's a Oh, is that that video was Diddy on it? Is no, that I like they're know. all like partying and then Justin comes up I, from the bottom he's there. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think that was like during his like Diddy partying days. That's why he like fucked off from Diddy. We've spoke about Diddy so much. Lad, I everybody's speaking about P. Diddy at all. Lad, it's fucking nuts. Like, well, it's not hilarious for people to be affected. It's 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 fucked. How, it's hilarious how fucked he is. Yeah, that's what's funny. It's like, I don't think he's, he'll be, I don't think he'll get caught. Lad, he's going to the slammer like MC I, Hammer. Lad, he's never coming back to America. Yeah, like, that's what I mean. Do you know what I mean? He's gonna be where's he at? The 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 Cayman the Cayman Islands. Yeah, so I'm like out there. He's going to a place that there's no extradition to America, and he's probably got like billions saved anyway. So yeah, no, I like he'll never he's be probably back. Probably just gonna fuck that entire island. Yeah, bro. Like like uh, what's his name from? What was that movies the Batman movies the Justice Squad, Justice, Justice League. League. Uh, Ezra Miller, he was just like the villain of Hawaii for a while. Uh, what did he do? He, he like moved to Hawaii and just became like a villain. He just terrorized, but just kept getting drunk, going to karaoke bars and attacking people and breaking into people's houses and doing like drug. And then he kidnapped a wee doll at one point. Oh, yeah. He like kidnapped like a fourteen year old, <laughs> just kept her for like two weeks. P. Daddy sent him there. Lad, and then like, what else? Oprah did the Flash, and it's interesting that he's a pervert and he's called the Flash, the Flasher. There he is. Muller was arrested and charged with disorderly conduct, disorderly conduct, and harassment after an incident at a bar in Hawaii. Police said he had yelled obscenities at a woman and lunged at a man. A temporary restraining order was issued against Muller after a couple alleged Muller entered their room and threatened them. They just came out of their house. Fucking give me all your money. Can you imagine he was like your sleep paralysis demon? Is that Ezra freaking Muller? Like, came, like lunged? I know he's yeah, a really weird thing to do to somebody. Just like, like what is it like lunch? Just like oh no no no, 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 no. What is it? The lunges? Oh, like the the fucking <laughs> like just like fucking. Yeah. To be fair, if someone started slowly lunging towards you at a bar, like I don't think this guy's up to no good. <laughs> this guy looks dodgy. <laughs> he's like lunging toward me. That's a deep lunge. Oh my god! How's he not tired yet? <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ! It's Jason Bourne. Uh, what's that there? It said uh, Japan. Everyone. Jap- the Japans is gonna have the same name by twenty five thirty some shit. Oh, the fish. Have you started watching uh, Shogun? By the way, no. that's deadly. It's like, but there's this like British guy captured by the the Japanese, and he calls them the Japans all the time. He's like, is this the Japans? It's fucking great. Those show. Japans. He's like, Those this, he's so painfully British. His voice is like, oh, heavens, oh, Jesus! I mean, the Japans. Everyone be called Sato. Everyone in Japan will be called Sido by 2531 unless marriage laws change, says Professor White. What does that mean? Japanese citizens will have all the same family name in 500 years. Unless couples are permitted to use separate surnames, a new study has suggested a, as part of a campaign to update a civil code. Back to the late 1800s. So is this just... Why do they give a fuck? It's 500 years. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, exactly. I'll be, I'll be dead by then. Yeah. I'm born. That kind of attitude is why the world is going to turn to a ball of shit. Don't give a fuck. Yeah, do you know what? Me neither. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <laughs> that's the great word. Unless reincarnation's a real thing, and then you're then we're fucked. Do you think reincarnation's real? I don't think it's impossible. I think it makes sense. Do you know what I mean? Are we, are we James Sato-san and Aaron Sato-san? Sato-san. Oh, no. Where is the cuttlefish? <laughs> Hello, James and Sato-san. I would love a Japanese dad. I would love if my dad was just randomly Japanese. <laughs> He's like, hello, son. Probably some questionable photos of your dad trying to look Japanese. Yeah, like he goes, <laughs> he want, it's like, what's it called? Trans Transgenders to a Japanese person? Is that what it's called? He Transitions. Could, uh, oh, no, trans. Uh, He's trans, uh, trans. Transracial. Trans, my dad's transracial. Yeah, we just come home someday and he's like, hello, everybody. <laughs> Sakadu. Oh, yeah, and I'm like, and I'm like, what are you watching? He's like, fucking, uh, what the fuck does my dad watch? Oh. The Big Bang Theory. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, which in Sheldon on the Big Bang Theory. He's very good. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> 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 my dad watches the Big Bang Theory so much. And he says every TV show shit. And I'm like, well, you're watching the Big Bang Theory. What are, like, that's, that's what you think's good. And he thinks oh, everything else shit. I, I told him Fraser was good. And he said, oh, shit. 
He, he loved Cheers though. Do you know what the crazy thing is? He fucking loved Fraser Land. What but that says every TV show shit. Oh, maybe it was. No, oh, maybe it wasn't Fraser Land. It was like no, friends or something. He'd say that. Like he'd be literally watching TV for like an hour straight, and you're like, "Oh, what are you watching?" He's like, "No, something stupid." I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> yeah, but uh, he loved Cheers. It's just that old school dad mentality. They can't admit when they're cold. You're like, "Oh, dad's freezing out." He's not cold. It's not. I'll tell you what's cold. Don't you fucking touch that heat. Right. You and I'm like, that you wear three cardigans. No wonder you're not fucking cut. <laughs> you demand, like, the fucking men of that generation just don't get cold. Well, they can't admit they're cold. It's like, just admit it. But um, my reincarnation, lad. What I was going to say, lad, your dad's a fascinating guy to me. He is, he's an like, interesting man. That man's always building something. Lad, and a, he's not even a, he's not even like a fully qualified builder. Lad, lad, your dad could be a proper joiner. Lad, he's probably better than a lot of joiners. Yeah, he's I, self-taught. I know. And he's like... Every year he'll like strip our garden. He'll like he's got a, a patio built, a whole fence, like all these fucking see it looks like Love Island on our back garden. Yeah. That, and every year he just looks class. takes it down and builds it again. It's right. <laughs> just for something to do, man. Like. Yeah. It's insane how good he is. So good, <laughs> like. And he's got like uh we we fire pit now. It's fucking lad. It's art. my back garden's the the shizney. It really is. During the summer, like. Uh, Jim knows what he's at. Jim will fix it, lad. Jim will fix it, lad. <laughs> Jesus Christ in heaven. I was actually trying to be nice there, lad. I was being nice. <laughs> Until the gym will fix it. Well, he'll fix it. He'll fix the garden up. It's okay. It's not good to <laughs> lie. Oh, James, please help me. <laughs> help me move this, this uh, stack of wood or some shit. But lad, if we're talking about reincarnation, because I actually want to talk about that. Right. I think that is a very reasonable... I think that's a very reasonable explanation of what happens to people. Like, there's been stories of people who've come, like, wee babies are like, oh, I fucking died in a, a hotel explosion. The wee baby said that. Uh, a three-year-old was talking about that, and the mom was like, what the fuck, son, are you talking about? You're, wreck you're wrecking my head, son. They say that your birthmarks kind of like how you... How oh, you yeah. Died. Do you remember? Do we have matching birthmarks, don't we? Yeah. Isn't that so. weird? Yeah. I think I was, like, maybe just stabbed. Yeah, like it says, wherever your where you, where your birthmark is uh, indicates where you died in a previous or the thing that caused you to die in a previous life. Yeah, that are bad kidneys. Mm. But, but what's your where's your birthmark? My, me and Orange both birthmarks birthmarks are like on our side there, exact same birthmark. And that uh, we used to. Touch. I've been able to see mine because like a fat. But yeah, it's been on the my, fat it's ate been, it. It's been a moment. Yeah, we used to like squish them together, didn't we? Yeah, for, for superpowers. Yeah, our dicks. <laughs> Dude, shut up. <laughs> but I mean whenever It's called docking arm What? That's what Do you know what docking is? Let me tell you This is like Oh this will be like The educational segment We learn everything Some podcasts Sometimes well, we learn is, new things What is docking? Sometimes I'll teach you things Docking right Do you know what like Penile hoods The foreskin that we've talked about previously Many's the time um, Docking is when two dudes Put their peeny heads together And like put the foreskin Over each other's penis heads and they're stuck together. Like a Japanese finger trap? Yeah, like oh basically. Oh my god, is with, that a well, thing? With, with your penis. Is that actually a thing? Everybody like, gather around the campsite. What if, what if it gets stuck and they're just like stuck together by the deck? Let me tell you about a wonderful sexual performance called docking. What is it, right? So docking is a very intimate and intense sexual act performed by two uncircumcised men. See, this is another benefit of being circumcised. If, if or not being circumcised. If you're Jewish, you can't do it. Jews can't take part Jew, in no, docking. No Jews allowed. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's what it says. And, uh, right, so guy one pulls his foreskin back and holds it while guy two stretches his open and outward as far as possible over the head and shaft of guy one's penis. Now, I wonder what the benefit to this is. Then guy one repeats the procedure as he's releasing all of his foreskin, he was holding back so tightly, pulling the opening out as far down over the other guy's penis, making making sure guy two's foreskin stays in place. When complete, both cockheads, this is a very aggressive article, both cockheads are touching tip to tip and kissed instead of each other's foreskin. The dual coverage combined, the moist juices start to flow from each other and creates a suctioning effect. Somewhat similar to a flashlight, helping to hold everything in place while jacking both penises as one. An effect much like those Chinese finger handcuffs, allowing quite a bit of masturbation action. 
Monster Bit in Action. What the website's still on? Urban Dictionary. All right. That was like fucking health healthline.co.uk. It's like, Jesus. While easily staying inside of each other, the sensation is so intense that both guys will often ejaculate simultaneously, visually filling the foreskin, coupling with so much cum you can see it swell to the point of overflow, slowly uncoupling the foreskins and savoring the warm set sensations, working their still hard penises together with their intermingled juices. <laughs> Through him, with him, in him. <laughs> the Holy Spirit. It's not the same. If you're going to make the Northern Irish version, what would you call it? Dock of docking. Yeah. Mm. What would what, what a Northern Irish version of docking is? Fuck, it's something to do with, I don't know, man, some car slang. Some culty car slang. Yeah. What have you got? You got anything? Or? Um, Sorry, lad. lad <laughs> I, 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 I'm that just, sick with lad. I, I was like, I can't think of anything, sir. I'm just fucking. Orange brains fried. I just think, am I picturing it, lad, falling up? Yeah, it's him, like, That's. Maybe we could get like, that's just that's, I, I can't no, get that out of my head. You hundred percent done the, or not that as a win, but like <laughs> fuck no, held your pee in. You held the pee in the first again. Yeah, like I, I never actually did that. I don't know if I, I don't know if I could do that as a kid. Peter, you're the weird one. Peter's hanging loose and heavy with a foreskin. He's got enough to He's hold in the pee. Yeah. That's, that's why I can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you stretched it. Lad, did you hear this is Tim, something Tim Tebow's heard. coming for you, Peter. Did you actually know you can increase penis size? Hey. Shit. What's the secret? Shit. Uh, <laughs> is this you start selling some? <laughs> yeah. James McKegney's penis extender. <laughs> it's just me jacking people off. I have to do it with my hands. CG stick. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, there is. It's called. What the fuck's it called? Look it up. It's like peeny, peeny lad. It's called. I'm sorry, but what what do you want me to Google? Ah, <laughs> uh, how to increase your penis length? It's called it's oh it's something like Dolchin or something. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that I'm on on the on incognito mode. No, on the fucking the podcast Google. Okay, yeah, squelching. No, that's not it. Should we get? We should maybe offer if to offer two guys two docking experts to come on a podcast and demonstrate for everyone yeah just get just stand in the background life. some guys are gonna dock for us why don't you why don't you try it penis right. extension you're, you're, you're not very specific here and yeah that's no, I, that'll give you it so there's penis stretching squat is something what the fuck's it called there's a technical term for it <laughs> but yeah it's basically, basically you just Get fucking lube and every single day just like stretch out your dick slowly and just massage it. And then apparently over like a year, your dick can increase by one to two centimeters or something like that. No way. Yeah, lad. Have you been doing it? Um, no, but I, I might I might start, lad. I need those two <laughs> centimeters, god damn it. What is that, an inch? No, uh, I don't know. An inch be about three centimeters. Jelkin! Called Jelkin. Used to add girth. And length. Well, then it makes it flatter. You tell me you don't want a big fat cock. <laughs> <laughs> 20, 20 minutes, 20 minutes. I guess not. 20 minutes a day. Yeah, 20 minutes a day. Like, that's too much. Like That's like too much. Uh, that's too much dedication. Like I can't dedicate anything 20 minutes a day to anything. I think how much lube you go through. You have to buy just a bucket. Yeah, you just land home with like a just fucking... A, like, Fucking five liter bucket of lube, just have it set beside the bed. Like Julie, all your fucking nightmares are about to come to an end. <laughs> <laughs> We're finally gonna go to pleasure time. Just give me one, twenty minutes a day for one year. Yeah, twenty <laughs> minutes a day for one year, and then that's it. You're gonna have a whole two inches to play with, baby. <laughs> centimeters. <laughs> two centimeters. Sorry, it's not even like a fucking thing. That's like that much, dude. That's a fucking sizable amount to add onto your cock. Oh, I know. Yeah. Fucking, here, lad, I was looking up, I kept hearing about um, gnomes. Apparently there's been a lot of gnome sightings. That was just me. Yeah, you, do you know what? You'd be like a cute wee gnome, lad. See if you dress up, got the big gnome hat, and just stood around the forest, and like just let people encounter you. Yeah. Well, and you're like. Encounter me? Yeah. Just hiding. Like, you're like, oh, it's a, it's a mystical little gnome. And you're like, oh, answer my fucking riddles. It's like. If you have five seconds to get away, 
Hi, quick, can I finger you? That's what you would say. Oh, like, I, I don't mean, like that riddle. I say that all the time. <laughs> this is my me and riddle. Said it myself in the mirror. <laughs> and I'm like, I, you better start running, James. I've, I've never got away. <laughs> I've never got away. Holy fuck, man, I'm really tripping on the coffee. Like, my eyes are real cold. A lot of it, it's good coffee. Yeah, but I've had two cups like, simultaneous. I binge coffee. A lot of start binge smoking again. Yeah, in Prague? Yeah. What made you do that? Just the, as soon as I landed. The love of the game. You were like, as soon as I landed. Fucking cigarette. I actually turned down a cigarette on the way down. Really? Yeah. And so, then I said, I have to wait them on the holidays. And then I went to Prague and as soon as I landed, Prague was smoked. Like, and I said, I smoked about 200 cigarettes. There is something I will say. I think, like, see when you go on holidays, your brain just goes, you can you can divulge and smoke in here now because this isn't real. Yeah. <laughs> like, this isn't a real environment. It's not even a real place. Lad, I think when we went to Prague for Ryan's stag, dude, I smoked, I probably took about five years off my life. Yeah, I'd say I've took simultaneously both times I've been to Prague about 10 years. All so you've got about two years left. Yeah, if <laughs> I'm lucky. Two good years. You better get a and lad, you're running out of time. You're right. Yeah. You're fucking right. Shout out to the guys that were in Prague. Yeah, they said they, they wanted you to say. Yeah, they want to shout out. Shout out to everybody in Prague. Yeah, <laughs> you weren't even there. I know, lad. I know I wasn't nah, there. Lad, that, <laughs> Niall was actually telling me, he goes, I'm glad that fucker's not here. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, I could not have lost him. I'm like, does anybody uh, want to, when are we joking, guys? We yeah. joke before we go out? <laughs> it was like, James just likes to fucking joke too much. Yeah, I joke, joke. He's like, lad, there's only too much of can joke. joke too hard. I joked my cock into another dimension. Joke so hard, motherfuckers want to find me. <laughs> <laughs> First joke has got to find me. Yeah, oh, I, was, I, was one, gonna say it. I was wondering where you were going to say it. I was going to say it. Dun, 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 dun. What, what did you think I was going to say? Anyway? Uh, fucking, I don't know. The N-word. There. I couldn't even think of anything else. I was like, I'll just say the N-word. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you would have been correct. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's good out of time. Go, but, what about... Yeah, Niall told me don't even like you. <laughs> Shit. So che. Yeah, well, that makes sense. The one person said you're nice was Karen. Thank you. Karen Brooks? Yeah. Me and Karen had a good time together. Er, everyone else hates you. Despise you. Says you're not even that funny. You're not even the funny one. <laughs> nah. You're really fucking with my self-esteem, Arn. I'm trying to. <laughs> Yeah. Is this going to turn into a men's mental health podcast? Oh, this is big. It'll well, give us the views. This is a crushing mental health. Yeah. We're fuck, like, fuck mental health. We're sick of mental health. I'm sick of listening to it. It's bad for my mental health. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All these crybabies out there, get over it. Join the army. Here's the thing stop crying. Yeah, join the freaking army. Get over it. You need, um, you know what you need? You don't need good mental health. You need a gun. <laughs> <laughs> That'll change everything. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing makes a man happier than a gun. What about a man and, uh, with two a, guns? A, a gun and a cause. Who's this? Uh, this is a guy. Yeah, he's like, he's like, work forty, work nine to five for forty years in a row. Be a man. <laughs> I was going off Frank from Always Sunny. <laughs> oh, oh like, this gun! So I just started blasting. Is that I went down and got myself another gun from Gunther's Guns. <laughs> That's right. and I just, anyway, I just started blasting. <laughs> I love that. Fucking, oh, you were talking about something. You were talking about the, the chicken legend, lad. What happened to the chicken legend? I don't know. I don't know. And they brought in the crispy instead. Oh, lad, I, they fucked it. What is the, the chicken, chicken crispy doing there? The chicken legend was perfect. I don't understand, like, could the machines not make that ship anymore? The only thing that was, I would say, I would have changed about a chicken legend ever was put iceberg lettuce on instead of the leafy one. Yeah, lad. Do you know, that's like the one McDonald's flaws is that leafy shit lettuce yeah. that's been lying in a tub of water for a month. What? Like, why is it so wet? Yeah, lad, dude. I still haven't forgiven them for taking the chicken legend ah, off. Like, it was just so good. The chicken legend was spicy chicken mayo? It was the equivalent of the, it was battled against the chicken royale. Oh, like Burger King. Chicken Royale is still good in Burger King. It's yeah. just, like, it's so small. It's just, man. It's so small, but the Chicken Legend was nice. It was crispy. Oh, so good. Like, I don't understand. Can you Google why McDonald's took the Chicken Legend off? 
Like, I don't understand what happened there. Like, that was my go to meal. That chicken legend with, like, fries and pour salt off that bitch. And some nugs. Fucking uh, chicken nugs. Maybe a little cheeseburger. I was in McDonald's the other day and I was like, do you have any mozzarella sticks? And they were like, no, we don't have any. And I was like, right. So I left. And then, like, I'm just at my burger. And then I seen a sign and they had, like, halloumi for halloumi. I'm like, why didn't you offer me that? Halloumi, it's the same shit. Halloumi fries are shit. Uh, they look still nice. They're, fucking they're not on a mozzarella dumb. dips. Uh, the salsa dip they use. Well, I order that. I order that salsa dip. No matter what I'm getting, I'm like, give me that salsa. Jul- Julie gets that and dupe. puts it on a McChicken sandwich. Oh, yeah. That's, She's that's, actually unreal. It's too good. Did, did you ever have a McGangbang? No. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Uh, is that like a chicken burger and a beef burger? All right, so do you get a, yeah. a, a what do you call it, cheap chicken ones? Chicken, oh, a chicken mayo. Chicken, you get a chicken mayo and a double uh, cheeseburger, and then you stuck the double cheeseburger in the middle of the patties and put the chicken burger inside it. Oh, fuck. So then it's like a mag, what do you call it? And it's called a gangbang. Yeah. Appar- apparently, that, game changer. Really nice. Good. Apparently, there's a 1035 burger I seen. It's, 1035. So you, have it, you can only get it at like 1035, and it's basically a Big Mac. Is that real? With, I've, seen a, I've seen a TikToker. Seen a TikToker, you get it. You actually Google something that boo, no one has boo, ever Googled. Eater, girl. <laughs> there, what do you see this? Oh, fuck. McDonald's secret menu. It's like a cheeseburger with an egg and McMuffin on it, sausage and egg McMuffin on it or something like that. Guess what, folks? McDonald's has updated their menu once again. They now serve limited all day breakfast menu. What does that's this mean for you? That's actually a lie. Because I went to McDonald's the other day at, what was it? Half ten, quarter to eleven, and he goes, oh, sorry, we're changing, we're changing over to the main menu. And I was like, well, then I don't want anything. But so, did I just go up at 10.35 in the morning and be like, can I have the 10.35 burger? <laughs> try it, lad, try it. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's like somebody said on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> the 10.35 burger is only available in the brief window of opportunity, both between breakfast and the regular menu items, which is 10 and 11, 10.30 and 11. So, oh my god, how, so it's like Egg McMuffin as well as a McDouble next. Place the two McDouble patties and cheese straight into the McMuffin and enjoy. Holy fuck. Holy cock. We should try it. We should actually try it and vlog it. James and I'll try it tomorrow. Going for a 1035 McGangbang. Perhaps. No. Oh, <laughs> uh, that went a completely different way. But yeah, that. Um, um, totally, McDonald's fucked it. Gone to the dogs. Um, uh, f- yeah, fuck McDonald's. Fuck McDonald's. I heard it really interesting, right? Do you know the way it became a meme that the McDonald's ice cream machine was always down? Yeah. Turns out there's a legitimate reason behind that. Oh, I actually know this one. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? The company that makes the ice cream machines made more money off McDonald's sending them faulty ice cream machines to brick. So they send in their workers to fix them, and they make a shit ton of money off it. Yeah, it was like I think it was like. Oh wait, I didn't know it, that. One. Like half the re- the company who makes its revenue it comes, comes from comes fixing from the fixing shit machines. Parts. So from there, so the meme of their ice cream machines always being down is legitimate. They legitimately were always down on purpose. But Ooh. but to counteract that, the same company makes the machines for I think like Burger King, KFC, and stuff like that. There, but their machines never broken because nobody uses them. They're not contractually ob- obligated the same way that McDonald's are. Right. Okay. So like, if you open a, like obviously McDonald's is a franchise, but if you open McDonald's, you have to use these machines. Yes. Because you have to use them and you're contractually obligated. So that because they can't use any other, they're like, let's make these break because yeah. they have to keep but buying ours. I, I know someone as well. There was, it was like a YouTuber used to work at McDonald's and he was talking about it. But there's only there's only like ever one ice mac, ice cream machine in the place, and it's probably pure, increased. The... It, it's purely to do with space. Like they have to like all every McDonald's franchise is like. Specifically uh, laid the, out a certain the way. The exact. But I guarantee it's something to do with they can't have two because then one will work and the other one will break. So they're like, if we make them, we'll no, be like. It's literally something. To pro- do it with probably space. has to do with space, but I'd say it definitely helps their money oh, making uh, calls. Like, that's fucking nice. Them boys duped McDonald's. Nah, but they're in trouble now because they were caught. Oh, really? Then they, they, some, some boy did a big investigation piece on it, didn't they? Uh, <sighs> pardon me. Yeah. I uh, think Johnny somebody. Harris. Yeah, Johnny Harris. 
Yeah, so yeah, he doesn't he doesn't have full like half an hour expose on it. That's crazy, man. That's lad. Well, there's smoke. There's fire. Like, well, there's and smoke. Where, there's where the, fire. And where there's fire, there's smoke. That's true, lad. And when you're in Prague, you're smoking. Smoking like a train, lad. I swear to God, lungs. I haven't only stopped this morning. <laughs> really? You have one this morning? Ah, <laughs> uh, because I had to go to work. Heck, I had to go to work Monday and Tuesday. Kid. Lad, I'd always I, guess my, my throat's fucked. It always gets that point where you're smoking. You're just like, fuck this. I'm done, lad. I've got, I've got nothing left. I was after them for what three months. Do you know what you need? You need like, what was that little old man of rock you called? Mickey. You need a Mickey. You're like you're a bum, Aaron. You're like I can't smoke anymore. And he's like you're a fucking bum, Aaron. Oh, my mom and dad say that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. You can smoke one more cigarette, Aaron. You you're like fuck. Do it. You're like, Adrian, maybe I can't do it. I ain't, I can't do it. I ain't got it in me, coach. Yeah, you're a fucking bum. Smoke that cigarette. <laughs> Smoking's actually all right. Once I'm gonna right, throw I in find. the towel. But if you can, if you can get off them, that's the key. Like if you can just casually smoke, say maybe once every like casually couple smoke. Months. If you just casually smoke 160 cigarettes in, in a week, oh, once a month, <laughs> yeah, it's all right. That's what I mean, like... Well, you tell me, like, there's nothing nice, nicer than sitting outside, drinking a coffee, and smoking a cigarette. It's fucking well, deadly. It's bless, the, the best part of the my day night. is getting up in the morning and having that first coffee, and if, like, a, a cigarette on it when the sun's out in your foreign country, it is blessed, lad. That's the best feeling in the world. I like... I think a wee cigarette every so often... Everything in moderation, even moderation, lad, that's what they say. Yeah. Um. So, like, I think it's good to test your body every so often and be like, Take this! It's a fucking cigarette. And your body's like, ah. And it has to fight against it and it makes you stronger. Like, I, James why, is health. That's why I only drink <laughs> once like every four months. <laughs> water? No. So I drink water once a four months. Yeah. Keep my body active. <laughs> Just give my body a shock. To keep my body fighting for its life and that keeps it strong, lad. It your does. body's in the mental gym. Lad, it's fucking, I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. I, partying? I oh, I'm done. Do I'm done partying, lad. Like, I really can't do it anymore. Is he, is he drinking them one of days in a row? I, I'm still fucked from But you know what the best thing is? Man, I don't even drink them fucking Saturday yeah. or Sunday. Uh, my sister said you're on, didn't you? Oh, I, oh that's right. I met your <laughs> sister. She, I met her and I was like, all right, I can't. She part? said I ran a door and I was like, it was probably smashed. <laughs> it, well, I wasn't. I was, I was smashed at half six that morning. But yeah. I wasn't smashed when I seen her because it was like three o'clock. Do you know what like the best part about not being good at partying anymore. Like, I don't even want to party anymore, lad. Someone's like, oh, I'll be deadly. And I'm like, no, I won't. You don't really, <laughs> you don't really care about muscle. Like, you're like, I've partied every night out. There's, You're not missing anything. Like, it's just the same over and over. Like, every so often you can have a good time. But, like, if you're doing it too much, it's just the same, lad. You're not missing shit. You're like, I've experienced it at all. I've done it. I've, I've really done gone. it all. I've done I just, it. I just want a coffee, the sunrise. And to be bad by nine o'clock. I just want to be dead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you need a gun, lad. Can you? Oh, <laughs> beggar, a mental health better. Can you get me a gun? Yes. We'll go to Crawford Sports after this. Like this man's suicidal. Get him a rifle to cheer him up. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, like, it's the only thing that'll work. They're like, I don't. The logic doesn't make sense, but I'm inclined to believe you. Well, <laughs> like it makes me happy. I mean, e like either <laughs> solution of that does cut down the amount of depressed people. Yeah, shit, lad. Does it? <laughs> does? Oh, I was gonna say something. Oh, guns, shit. guns, reducing the amount of people with depression. If there's a statistic and you read that out, you're like, well, that's interesting. The gun people with. Guns are like less and less depressed. And you're like, it's because they're all fucking dead. <laughs> what does it say? Guns don't kill people. People kill people. Yeah, that John Le John LeJoy line. He's like, guns don't kill people. Uh-uh. I kill people. With guns. With guns. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God. Uh, you vaping away, that. Get that out of here. Have a wee Get vape. that shit out of just here. Just missed bar, strawberry ice. Like, just out of curiosity, would it be cool if we actually just did just sit and chain smoke a whole, a whole episode on here? I mean, it probably wouldn't be good for my health, but I would love Peter, it. would that be allowed? <laughs> chain smoking can on we, the podcast. Wait, wait, we just get two packets each, and the whole podcast, we have to 
of the dress up as like nineteen forties presenters. Oh yeah, new like, presenters and just smoke. I'll tell you this, fuck. kid, you're gonna be a freaking star. You're gonna be a star. Now suck my cock. <laughs> That's what they said back then. <laughs> no, we will have to do cigars on episode. Oh, let's do a cigar episode. I hate cigars though. Oh, no, no, I, I hate them. They're I fucking fun, shit. Like- We'll do a scar episode and a sunglasses episode. There comes an episode in every every lad's podcast career where they all just randomly wear sunglasses or somebody's wearing sunglasses. We'll do the sunglasses episode. I think we should just do the chain smoking episode. I think we should do it. Oh, uh, and we should call it, uh, we should hoodwink everyone and just say, uh, absolutely shaft the podcast featuring chain smokers. Oh, Everyone will think it's the DJs, and then it's just, it's just us sitting there like, oh, God, God this sucks, <laughs> but worst, I love it. It's the worst thing <laughs> in my life. Do you know what we should do? We should do a, a late night storytelling episode or something where we just drink. Or like what they do in B, uh, CB, CBBs. Yeah, like a late we'll, night story time. Yeah, we'll have a late night story time with Tom Hardy, <laughs> and he's pished. He broke into the studio, <laughs> and we're too afraid to so, tell him to leave. All right, you cunts. No, all right, you little cunts. <laughs> Iggledy piggledy, fell off the wall. <laughs> <laughs> and what the fuck did he do? He fell off the wall and we made it look like an accident. Update <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dante and all the king's horses and all the king's men. Fucking Danny Dyer. All right, that, we'll get Danny there. All right, you little uh, pricks. I uh, am fucking shit myself. <laughs> he said, I'm on two babies. And I am fucking shit myself. Do you ever, do you ever so all these little bat, these are the hardest little bastards I've ever come across in my life. Do you ever watch that? Is it football factors or something he does? And he's like, he goes to all these like firm matches. He, then he goes to a Celtic Rangers one. He's like, I'm fucking shit <laughs> <myself."> <laughs> There's an episode he of- He shits himself that many times. He's like, there's an episode of Danny Dyer's hard at all these men. And he, he goes to like, he just travels around the country like talking about- Oh, you're so fucking odd. Like, to random, pure tough men. And one of the ones he goes to is a, a gay guy, but he's like a pure, like, fucking badass. I don't know what he did, like, ex-gangster. And the whole episode, he just kept me like, you probably want to bum me, don't you? <laughs> the guy's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> so you're so fucking odd. <laughs> what I like to do, what's that David Goggins clip? He's like, one of my favorite things to do is get out the hardest men in one room together. <laughs> get all the hardest men and just be men together. Like everyone in this room is so hard. And you're like, what? What? This is somebody's grinder bio? Is that is that like a AI thing? No, or is it's it just a, a compilation of things he said. He was just legitimately saying it. He didn't mean it to sound gay. Get out the hardest of the hard. Get out the Be hard together. Lad, that that sounds like that would be an actual. Uh, like see if you were hosting an orgy. Sounds like you're tender by uh, right, If you were hosting an orgy, that would be the perfect. I want the hottest of the hottest. And I want us. I want to be with these men. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Give us, give us the, the full audio rundown of what your uh, advert that, would say. Was that it would be that. It would be, I want to get the hardest men together and it, we're all going to be. Like, I'll advertise it. Like, they'll think it's like some kind of sporting event. And all these tough, tight lads that show up. They're like, welcome to the orgy, fellas. And like, what? <laughs> Are you hard? <laughs> Do you think people... Are you the do? hardest men? Are you, are you not hard? Are you not hard? <laughs> this is... Lubrication. Just walk. This is joking. Then at the end, it's like, "Are oh, you not entertained?" <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like scared. That's fucking Russell Crowe just going kind of nowhere. Lad, they should redo Gladiator now, but just with current day fat Russell Crowe. Just him eating like fucking Maximus. Um, what, what was he? Maximus. What is it? He's like uh, Maximus Morales, so, son of a, or father to a murdered son, husband to a murdered wife, and I will have my vengeance. In this life or the next. Right, now gonna... let's start joking, fuzz. That movie's fucking unreal. I will say the Gladiator is fucking awesome. What is this? So I asked, uh, asked like Google's AI to do an advert, but now under the context of what you've given it. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> As like a sporting advert, but <laughs> when you say for an orgy, it's so good. Right, okay, so sporting advert for an orgy. This is AI. Kids come up with this. No, 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 but I haven't told this for an orgy, but 
be using it for a sporting. Oh, it sounds sport. like it's for an orgy. Yeah, but then if you read it back with the context of the sport or the orgy thing, read it back now. Right. Okay. So this is uh, this is this is a sports advert, but we're using it as an orgy advert scene. Okay, I will start the scene. Open on a close up of a scarred hand gripping a weight. Grunts and clang of metal echo as the hand pumps iron. Narrator with a gruff voice. They say the world's gone soft. Comfort, convenience, excuses. Camera pans out to reveal a rugged man, sweat dripping from his brow, pushing himself to the limit. Narrator, but some of us, we crave the hard truth, the sting of sweat, the fire in our lungs. Cuts to a fast-paced montage. Rugby players crashing into tackles, boxers exchanging brutal blues, a lone runner purring through a muddy obstacle course. Narrator, we don't talk about being hard. We prove it every damn day. Scene, a slow motion shot of the athlete pushing through pain, eyes locked on his goal. Narrator, this ain't for poses. This is for the relentless, the ones who chase victory, not validation. So this is like, this sounds like the most intense orgy of all time. Uh, it's like how many how many back shots can you take before you give in, gentlemen? Cuts back to the weight lifter, a still steely glint in his eye. You got the guts, then step up. And then he just gets banged by twelve man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Text overlay. It's not a game, it's a test. First, how many back shots can you take? Are you the hardest man? I'd say David Coggins, if he was forced into an orgy situation, would end up like... He'd won it. Well, he'd won that stuff. <laughs> well, uh, just whenever you're saying about the rugby player thing, yeah. there's this, uh, there this gay fella... Quite, uh, well, he doesn't really come into the bar now, but he used to... Uh, he's about... He must be like 55 or something. You're right. Right. So I mind him telling me he loves rugby because of that. Because it looks hot? Aye. Uh, <laughs> but that's here. Just reminds me of an orgy. Sorry, right, so there's like these, boys, there's these group of lads, and there's maybe about six of them. Nine, I think they were about 19. Yeah. And he spotted them. Right. Fuck me, he was over like a dart. <laughs> flirting with them. Oh, no. Oh, 19 year olds. I have a lad. Bruh. They were just taking the hand out of yep. him. And he should have seen, I seen him doing it, lad. It was so funny. Right. Like he was like leaned over the table and popping his ass in the air. Oh, <laughs> and no. you laugh. And then they might start taking the hand out of him. <laughs> but he thought they were all fl- he thought they were all fronting back. <laughs> he probably couldn't tell. He's like, I was following every individual one around. Like, oh, it was so funny. Really? Like, I was just standing by the bar. Like, Don't to be fair, that's that's it was entertaining. So funny, like, Jesus but Christ. Then I was then I had funny stuff, right? And then I was walking past the back gate. <laughs> yeah. and I just heard them like one of the friends. They must have one of the friends' phone. They were adding adding your man on Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's gonna be a one way. Well, my ticket to that guy sent them dick pics. And oh, uh, straight. I'd say he sent them a dick pic what, as soon as he walked in. 100%. Like, he, he was like, these guys are loving it. <laughs> the lad was just so funny because he was, he was like, they're pushing his ass out. Uh, I think yeah, boy, like, he was just pure staring at him. Like, <laughs> like, he was like, hmm. Well, yeah. I was, I was going to bring up that story. Remember, I'll not mention any names, but remember someone offered to send you dick pics one night? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Arn was like up in the middle of the night one time and this this guy texted him and Arn, he was like what are you at and he was like oh fuck Arn was steaming he's like fuck all just in from a night out and all pure blue balls or something uh, this years ago and the guy was like this gay guy was like oh nice and they just conversation kept going on and on and on and Arn kept like they started talking about wanking and Arn was talking about wanking at four in the morning <laughs> to this gay drunk guy I said, like, Arn, how did you not think this was going somewhere? Uh, I was absolutely stupid. And then this guy uh, texted. No, 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 that's, uh, that's what happened. He's uh, like, oh, you hardly, you hardly came back from Belfast with blue balls. And I said, like, ah, no, nah, I didn't come back with anyone. And then he was like, oh, fuck. Uh, so, uh, then he was like, I propose we, we do a wee competition. I said, like, what are you talking about? Like? <laughs> and he goes, we should uh, send each other videos of uh, us wanking and see who comes first. <laughs> I was like, You're like, I was like, lad, I'm, I'm not really into that there. Like, right, wait a minute, <laughs> this has gone off the deep end. <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't had a, like I was, I was lured in. I then... just thought he was having a friendly conversation about wanking with a gay guy before. Well, the that, stuff like that would ha- happens to me quite often. <laughs> you just don't read the room. But like, lad, I can't. I just like, <coughs> I genuinely just am being nice and just chatting, and then like I'm pure stupid whenever it comes yeah. to shit. Like, like people dropping hints and stuff, and I'm like, until they're 
dead to wreck. Until you've got to the point where they're like offering to fuck you. And you're uh, like, whoa. Until they're dead to wreck. And then I'm like, oh shit, right. Sorry. Like. You're like, I thought we were just hanging out wanking as two mates. <laughs> Ah, this isn't gay, like. This isn't gay, like. <laughs> what are you over? Right, so then he, he fucking, I was stabbing him, and then he proposed we did that competition. <laughs> I was just like, oh, no, lad, I'm not really into that. Thing. And what did, what did he say? He's like, oh, fair enough. He was like, no, oh, I don't, I can't even remember what he said, but it was like, about off after that, and then I start replying. I remember that. the next day you rang me, and you're like, lad, you will never guess what happened. And I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? Should I have, what, I have a fucking Daryl, like, a week later, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you boys are. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell me the question, or let, tell me, this, see on like the date naps for like, um, like, like the, the gay date naps. Gay date naps. Is there the same amount of like bots and like ones that try and catch you out on there as there is on like the regular ones? There's a lot of people that aren't who they say they are, and yeah. they'll use other people's pro. See, which is why you get in the date naps that verify your account are way better than the ones that don't, because you'll have someone with somebody's fake picture just like. Sending their nudes to you, trying to get you to send nudes, uh, so they well, can pretend to be that type of shit. Like you have to be dead stupid to be caught by. Yeah, it's so easy like, to catch someone as like you can tell someone's not because you're like, oh, you, can you send a picture of your face and they'll send one? And you're like, if you get any more pictures, and they just send the same picture again. You're like, that's the only picture you got. Yeah, but like I mean, whenever I was on them, like it's, it was dead easy to always catch someone like someone that was. Does it happen real? a lot in the like the straight Tinder and shit? Yeah. But I think the thing is, if you let your dick control the situation, you you can get lured lured into them very quickly. Oh, easily. Uh, but lad, you do have to be dead stupid to be caught under them because the think? pictures are all blurry and no, they're but... fucking half different. I remember all them bot accounts used to add you on like Facebook. It was like some hot dog with like no no no, no content posted, but just like clearly like trying to uh, get every single one uh, of them. That I came across, Arn was friends with him. <laughs> like back in the uh, day. I just, <laughs> I just accepted them, but it was like, some of them were wild funny because it was like, that's, that's deadly doll, right? And then you scroll over a few photos of just this fat man. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? It's always some fat Filipino boy or something. Yeah. Oh man, I, oh, I just remembered I had this like, I used to have this like Thailand lady man. Right to me all the time. Facebook caught Wang Mendoza. Oh, I had the. I had the. Remember that. Wang Mendoza? Like, Wang Mendoza. It was a girl, and then a fucking. It was a dude. Seen it, seen it was a dude. She was always like, "Happy Christmas," and all like. <laughs> she just wish me happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> she was friends with everybody. Wang Mendoza. Wang Mendoza. <laughs> this summer, you are gonna get a message from Wang Mendoza. <laughs> well, I think we got some questions, you know. We got a couple actually. Let me have a wait. Let me have a wait. Check. See who's giving us questions in the podcast. Wang Mendoza. Is it Wang Mendoza? We're going to be haunted by her. Okay. okay. So we got actually a few, my friend. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would you pick? Uh, chicken wrap. Chicken wrap. Chicken that's, wrap. That's a great call. Chicken wrap. Iceland chicken goujons and a wrap of red sauce and cheese. That's what I would do. Yeah. Mine's would be like barbecue sauce probably, but chicken wrap, definitely. What's Arn's favorite toilet paper? Oh. That's a good question. I don't even you know. You want that soft quality kind? I don't even know the brand. I, I would just say something semi-expensive so you're not... A double, triple fly at least. Oh, yes. You're triple paper hold baby wipes. Yes. It's fucking it's Lad, the best. I would prefer to do that than toilet... Technically, right, this doesn't make sense, right? You wash your hands with, like, soap and water and you just rub paper in your ass to clean it, like... Yeah. And then just walk around all day. Japanese toilets, lad. Japanese toilets with it. Oh, lad, I went, I went to that place up in Belfast, that uh, house Zen. of Zen. Mm -hmm. Went to use it, lad, and it wasn't working. I was like, no! I was like, the only. Squirt my ass! You know what? That place was shit. I get It was not great. It was it was a bog standard Chinese. I don't care what anybody but says. But I'd say the main attraction is everybody going, looking their, their booty tackled by the I water. wanted a wash and blow dry on the <laughs> whole. <laughs> <laughs> the toilet just has constantly like a line of like 30 lads. Like, oh, I just need to push her. Uh, need to push. I was like, why does everyone always need a fish? Oh, lad, I was so disappointed. I was like, no, this, I've been looking forward to this. And they're like, our toilet is down. And I was like, ah, oh, the whole restaurant at once. <laughs> it's like one of the few places where you see people come back from the toilet to a massive spine. They're room. just like, yeah. <laughs> they're like, like <laughs> you guys do cocaine and then they're like, no. No, nah, we all just sat around <laughs> the toilet getting uh, squirted. Got my ass washed and blown <laughs> But yeah, lad, so disappointed, and I was disappointed with the whole experience. You don't like houses, then? The change. 
is there two of them? I went to the one in that St. Anne's Square. Yeah, that's... No, so there's, there's the House of Zen and then there's just Zen. I think it was House of Zen I was in. Right, you didn't The like. one in St. St. Anne's Square, where that top blade steakhouse is. I know what you're on about. That, that's where I went. Do you, do you know what's good in there? If you want good fucking Chinese food, dumpling library. Well, it's, it's more like fucking Thailandy food. Uh, but it's dead, like dumplings are well nice, don't Dumbling, right? Dumplings are dead. I, I bought some dumplings to try to make them. Not good. I mean, you know, just boil them. Yeah, they were awful. Yeah, I couldn't tell if they were cooked. That, that that one I went to, I was I was really looking forward because everyone was saying, oh, "It's deadly. It's the best Chinese food you ever had." Fucking Lucky Dragon's better. Like, Lucky Dragon Mahara yeah. does a job, like fucking sure. But go to Mahara does a job. But I think I'm not over. It. Well, I haven't had either, right. I haven't had either of them in a year. Oh, we'll give a shout out. The greatest Chinese in Northern Ireland is Yoko. Oh, yeah. Yoko. Maybe, maybe we'll get a black card for Yoko. Yoko at the back of Jets. Have you ever been there? Not since it's, like, it's moved. Oh, bro, you're going to the Jet Centre. At the back of the arcade, there's a Chinese oh. restaurant called Yoko. And you don't think a Chinese restaurant at the back of an arcade is going to be good, but it's the best. It's fucking unbelievable. And I wish you go there right now. Will we? Yeah. Yeah, go out Let's do it, because I haven't had a Yoko in I fucking... wonder if they'll give us like, free Yokos... Let's talk about Yoko and we'll yeah. try so much that we'll we'll get free Yokos for life. All right, we'll tag Yoko on this oh, yeah. in this podcast. Just that we segment. Yoko. I, Pete, we'll go, we're going to need you to make a clip of all oh, the greatest Chinese in the world is Yoko, and that's all it's going to be. And then we're going to tag them on it. All um, right, next question: Thoughts on people who don't move to the side when you're walking down the street? Legalize hitting them? Do you know what my? I don't know, like, because like, sometimes you have to respect respect it. Like, My it. biggest pet peeve when you're walking down the street, if there's like a crowd of people that are like taking up the whole street and they just suddenly stop walking and just start looking around, you're like banging on the back of them and shit. Oh, uh, like fucking be aware of your surroundings. I'm walking folks. here. Yeah, I'm fucking walking here. I'm walking here. And then one of our final questions is, what do you do with a raging boner at an inappropriate time and place? Who's asked this one? My friend Michael Henry. What what was it? Well, like so, say you got you're in a you're in a regular everyday situation, but you get a boner by accident. It just happens. It doesn't happen as much as you get older, but when you're Ta- hey, talking into the waistband, yeah, you're talking into the waistband. <laughs> yeah, is that what you do? I think. Well, I think if you hold your breath, that used to be my technique. Just hold my breath until it went away. I think I, just like in mass. I think so. Mine's was uh, I just needed a fart. What? <laughs> <laughs> Explain yourself. The, the air was stuck inside me. Give you a boner. Went out the went out the dick hole. <laughs> <laughs> Farting out your dick. Nah, that, don't actually <laughs> close, but that, that would actually be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm queefing out my cock. I'm about to come. <laughs> <laughs> they call me ah, the it smells like, queefer. It smells like eggs. Queen Latifa. Queen Latifa. <laughs> it's so high pitched. I am like. <laughs> oh, like someone let a balloon Did you ever listen to the sound? Uh, what? They think real dinosaurs, mate. Oh, really? See, like a tyrannosaurus. Look up, like, what they think of tyrannosaurus. Is it not really, like, rawr? No, 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 <laughs> no. Like, it's actually frightening. And raptors, really? all that. Like, it's... It's fucking... A deep bass sound inaudible to humans. Let's see what that sounds like. Uh, was this recently? A month ago? I was... Uh, right, just give me a thought. Yeah, you ever hear them birds that sound terrifying? They're yeah, just they're like... like uh, like all oh, their shit, that's what they and you're like, uh, like that. It's that's scary. Let me see. Just fart out your dick. That was a dick <laughs> fart. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, that was a shit fart. I let's definitely go to Yoko after this one. That'd be a friend. Yeah, I need I need something to to wake me up, wake me up inside. Give me curly fries. <laughs> With some curry and some golden fried rice. I just made that up. I knew that. <laughs> this, is it here. this is what dinosaurs sound like. Sounds like you after a curry lad. That would be scary to be fair. Lad, that's just uh, poised uh, up at the port. Uh, that's poor Sunday, lad. <laughs> <laughs> that's just poor Sunday. He's like, Bop! But I'm not hearing that there, that. Do you ever see what Come some on. of the planets sound like? No, that's scary. Yeah. So yeah. the planets, like, give off noise. Uh, and your, and, like, your Uranus goes, Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> certain planets, 
certain planets uh, yes. give us no. Like, there's one of them, maybe Saturn or something, but it's like, ah! like it sounds like screaming, and then it just goes back to nothing. It's like that's but, scary, dude. Has, has it not been in like a storm since like, the last like? Yeah. About a couple of thousand years, like probably something like that. Yeah, and one of the like, that's what Lauren sounds like. Ju- so who said it? Lauren? Lauren? <laughs> I thought you said I thought you said Lauren. I was like, who the fuck's that? Do you know Lauren? God damn it! God damn Lauren sounds like that. But was that is one is like Jupiter not just like a gas planet? It's just made of gas. That's where guys go to get more Jupiter. Girls go to Jupiter to get more Jupiter, lad. We've had this conversation many a time. Damn, I've been I've been hanging out in Jupiter. That's why I got that wrong. That's because you're gay. Yeah. You're one of the girlies. Girlies? <laughs> one of the girl. girls. Here come the girls. Ooh. <laughs> I play as every smack in my room. Here come the girls. I'm like, that's what I call my tits. The girls. Let the girls out to play. Oh, there's a show in there. I have to give my girlfriend a shout out. All right. have to. Google's not yeah. working for some reason. I have to get the name right. Okay. It sounds like um, it's her photography page. Sounds like you're trying to get her name right. I'm, I'm looking up my girlfriend's name and make sure I get it right. Um, ch- 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 oh, okay, weird. Uh, fuck, what's her fucking page called? Julie Keenan Photography? No, it's not called Julie Keenan Photography, exactly. Julie M. Keenan Photography. That's Photography. Right. Photography. <laughs> Check her Joy out. Joy Kenan Photography. No, check it out. She's, I thought it was like JMK Photography or JM She's, she's a great photographer. She really is. She was taking pictures. She was up in the limelight taking photos of the Big Love Fleetwood Mac. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, tribute act. Shout out to Big Love Fleetwood Mac Tribute Act, lad. Yeah. Any uh, any tribute act that sings Fleetwood Mac, I'm on board with. Yeah. Fucking love. Lad. So, I've seen all the... I haven't got to see them yet, but I've seen the videos and... They look class. They look very good. One of my favorite. Is this, ev- the, is this the right? That's the wrong one. Oh. One of my favorite ever at right? Fleetwood Mac clips. Go again. Um, go on to my Julie. Yeah. Go on to my. Uh, I should be following them. One of my uh, one of my favorite Fleetwood Mac clips, lad, is when they're singing like actual Fleetwood Mac are singing Silver Springs. Oh, I only fucking really learned that song there already. Last one, Chris. So I watched. I was actually watching the video of your doll, um, of your doll, Stevie Nicks. Stevie Nicks singing it. The Lindsay Buckingham. Yeah, so she's singing this song. It's about their breakup, and she's singing it to him as like they're playing, and he's just like trying not to cry. She's like, "Oh yeah, they look good, lad." Have you? Can you look up that clip, lad, of Fleetwood Mac, Silver Springs? So she's singing it to him, and it's very powerful. And yeah, they, they, used to, they used to ride. Yeah. She's like, you will called. never get away from the sound of the woman that loves you. That's what he's called, Lindsay Buckingham. Yeah. Bucking, yeah. bucking everyone. Is it an official live video? Or what is it? It'll be on YouTube. Lindsay Bucking everyone. Lindsay Bucking your man. But what? Like, Fleetwood Mac, Silver Springs. But is it a specific live one? Or is it That's live, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I have a real head I'm going to cut the audio for this one. Because, uh, oh, yeah, we can't play it, can we not? I think we're going to get away with that one. God damn. Uh, Fleetwood Mac's like Disney. We could just look the at the uh, the emotion. That's more towards the end when she's... Uh, when she's going, it'll be there. There it is. She's, look, she's singing a tomb, and he's just like, shit. He has to sing that. And it's like, oh. She turns. She's like, I put a spell on you that you won't forget me. Why is that? I've been a nightmare. You won't forget me. You done you down to the sound of the woman who loves you. Oh, okay, guys, just like turn the bass and like look at the fucking like, guy. This is uh, she, this she, is an awkward moment. Directly singing it to they're singing it to each other. Yeah, it is. She's like looking right in her eyes. If you just can, go and search that clip because it's. It's intense. He's like, oh, shit. Funny enough, I was genuinely watching that on, like, Sunday. Lad, it's so good. It's a, one of the greatest songs ever as well. I don't know, lad. Don't be the cha-cha slide. Or the ketchup song. I said, hey, I have it to the seven, say they know what I'll be. I don't know the words. And a boogie and a zebedee bee. Zebedee? Zebedee bee, baby. What about Scooter Zebedee, Zebedee Danger? Oh. I am the real ranger. <laughs> <laughs> Can we look up Scooter's best quotes for his, from his songs? What is it like? 
Shout out to the garbage man. The garbage man's doing how the best that he is, can. How much is the fish? Just in the Malaz set. And everyone's like, yeah. <laughs> I love that one. It's like, zippity, zippity, danger. I am the, the real ranger. ranger. <laughs> that scooter's fucking on real. Lad Scooter looks like he's made of drugs. Siberia. <laughs> so, right, these are some of Scooter's best quotes. What, quote your favorite goddamn Scooter lyrics. Gonna blow up big when you're still at the bottom of the charts like a twig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bird. It's not a plane. It, it must, must be, be Dave, <laughs> who's on the train. <laughs> <laughs> We're not the monkeys, but we've got the key. Respect to the man in the ice cream van. <laughs> Siberia, move your ass. <laughs> move your ass, your collective ass. Uh, that's a good one. The only way to have a friend is to be a friend. That's good advice from Skitter. That's really... How much is the fish? Yeah! Sunshine in the air! <laughs> <laughs> Tie between, I'm raving, I'm raving, put on my raven shoes, I'm behind the cow. Scooter lyrics, dude. The painted cow. Yeah! Oh, yes. Raving to Cambodia! Uh, is that raven for Cambodia? <laughs> <laughs> What's that one here? Like, doing it for the masses, doing it for the crew, gonna make you hop and skip around like a kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> you're, a, you're a lyrical genius. This, this is like some fucking Middle Eastern kind of, <laughs> yeah. like rap kind of. This is like yeah, going to. This is like a Chinese person just shouting around them quotes out in Chinese, and we're like that rocks, and they're talking about soup. The cherry. What's that? The cherries are not important. Cherries not important. Don't throw away the banana boxes. No more coffee. Just have a beer. Can you tell me how much? How do I get off the bus? These are like just things he said when he's high. He's like, that's good, sticking in the fucking, sticking in the lyrics. It's just, <laughs> hey, I get off this boss, mate. I am fucking, my head's wrecked. Oh, lad, I was on a 212 up the, up the Belfast one time, yeah. and there was these, like, three drunk smacks. Yeah. And they were steaming. They are probably off their tits as well. Probably not even. And <laughs> I, w- I was upstairs, lad, and one of them was just like, uh, we were pulling in, we just, uh, I think we had to get off, like, near the, what is it, uh, Belfast Met? Yeah, uh, we were coming round past the Belfast Met. One of the smacks went up to the bus. Hey, hey, fucking stop it, mate. That's my mate over there. <laughs> <laughs> they can't let me off here, mate. And he's like, no. He goes, I fucking tell you, let me off here. <laughs> Ask my mate, let me off Ask the bus for five mate minutes. There. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> nah, that's the thing. Like, smacks have, like, just this, in- like, they have such a funny view of reality. Like, you uh, say, what do you mean? I can't just stop the bus and get off and talk to my mate for 10 minutes. Smacks are class. Well, they're really I fun. I love them. They are something. I, I like came across some smacks in the gym one time, and they were like, they went from, they were benching like Pardon 20 me. kg, and they were like slapping each other's stomach, be like, you got this, mate, let's go, fuck's sake. Listening to rave music on their phones out loud. And then they started fighting. And then, uh, then one of them just started taking his top off and posing in front of the mirror. And I'm like, the whole pure gym was just like, that would have been the greatest thing it's to like, see. That's the that's the level of like just not giving a fuck you want to achieve. It's like oh, just eh? as if you're not even aware anybody else is there. Just don't give a fuck. The- Schmeck like nobody's watching. <laughs> Schmeck your heart out. Schmeck your wee heart out for fuck's sake. I love them in the Bel- Belfast City Centre, lad. Lad, do you know what used to be big in the Belfast City Centre? Goths. Goths have died. Yeah, lad. Where where are all the goths? Probably killed themselves. Ah, oh, Jesus. But uh <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's Jason Bourne. Um, yeah, but all the goths just sit in their seats. I, well, if you think about it, like, goths kind of died off, and then... Like, metaphorically? Yeah. Yeah. And, like, they're all adults now. They're all, like, adult goths. Yeah, like, they're all adults now, and, like, they, I think the fun thing is to look back at their, like, MySpace or Bebo pages. Do you remember all the goth haircuts yeah. and the and the wee raw XDs? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, oh, man. Those were the days, like... Yeah, like... Earth. Heavily edited profile pictures like with the wee roars. Ours was a wee bit more emos though than goth. Like, we had emos, yeah. It would, like whenever we were like what nine, there was goths floating about, and then it as we came came there with twelve, it was emos. Do you remember like there used to be a group of goths that walked around Mara, and everyone was like, "The Satan worshippers are out. They sacrifice animals up at the trees." And you're like, uh, "That's just my mate from school. <laughs> he not, just likes rock music." Like, no man, we went. <laughs> no man, we went to drumming town and then, like. Uh, and we'd wake up in the morning, they were like, oh, fuck, we were chasing these devil worshippers and all out of here. And all. <laughs> it's like, it's if they were bad and they were going to kill us all. And I was like, like, we spotted uh, some goths in the field and we all hunted them down. And you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, I was like, why is he in Borla? Traumatown was, 
a way. Do you remember, like, do you remember when you were forced to go to drama town? It's like a week long religious I camp. Did, I didn't like the first, the first time I went, but the second, second time, time I was kind of fun. Was really like, good. Second time was kind of fun, but it's like you go to mass three times a day, which is not ideal. Like you only go, you only go once. Do you not go morning lunch and then you have a wee sing along at the end of the day? You could uh, do you actually. Uh, uh, yeah. To be fair, lad, the sing alongs were great crack. Yeah. Uh, what did they sing? Amazing Grace. Oh, me. Oh, lad, that was the that shit. That was lad. fucking deadly. Um, Amazing Grace. I don't get, I don't get why. It was like a football summer camp, but it was actually good. It was the second time I really enjoyed it. But I never went back again. I thought it was so badass because uh, we were up in the middle of the night and they made us all stand outside as like a punishment and like say the Hail Mary. They made like so just stand in, like different parts. I'm like, you just, like kids, <laughs> like you shouldn't be up in the middle of the night. So you just have to stand outside in the dark and say prayers. You're like, whoa, I thought it was cool though. I was like, this is badass, lad. I'm a hard lad. <laughs> David Goggins would love this. <laughs> I'd be one of the hardest men he'd get in a room together. David Goggins, I'm hard, man. I'm so fucking hard, dude. David Goggins, you get me so hard. <laughs> you show up and you're like, it's to David Goggins' house, is this where you requested all the hard men? Because I'm fucking raging right now. <laughs> and he's like, what the fuck? It's like, I'm so freaking hard. And he's like, all right, come on in. Right. Uh, he was, he, David Goggins about like myself What's until that? you directly know what they're at, talking about. Yeah, I can imagine <laughs> he like just wouldn't catch on that the guy's gay. Yeah, he's like this guy, this motherfucker keeps talking about being the hardest man alive. So we're gonna have to run. Like, uh, when do we get to sucking dicks, David? <laughs> I'm like losing this hardness right now with all your talk of running. Yeah, that's <laughs> probably the same time that I would realize as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'd be like. But like, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Something's, uh, something's a little off here. This little twink in a jock strap is. I don't think he's interested <laughs> in weightlifting. You're not here for the run. <laughs> I don't think he's here for the run. I should probably stop advertising for hard men. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I'm so fucking. I've got such a raging banner right now, David. He's like, wait a minute. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? Wait, what? <laughs> Check. What are you doing here? I requested the hardest man. He's like, can't you see my fucking dick? It's so hard. Oh, uh, what was I going to say? Like, I really, I'm really sticking by this chain smokers thing. I think it'd be hilarious. We're doing an episode where we just smoke so Advertise it as featuring chain smokers. We've got a pretty big guest, lads. It's just us smoking. Uh, it's uh, Marlboro. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fucking it's May, Mayfair Light, lads. It's, it's Lambert and Butler, dude. <laughs> my two gay neighbors. <laughs> I've been sucking on Lambert Butler all week. Oh, have you? <laughs> My neighbors. <laughs> oh, no, not the cigarettes. Not the cigarettes. I was smoking camels. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. You're sucking on camels, dude? Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, so let me think. Have we got... Uh, oh, yes. I'm going to promote the terrace. I forgot. I think both of us are, like, so exhausted right now. Man, I'm so tired. I'm dying, bro. Um, the Terrace Laughs is back on the 24th and 25th of April this month. No way. Yahweh. What? what Yahweh. Page, praise Yahweh. What? Yahweh's God. Yahweh bin Yahweh? Yeah. Praise Yahweh. Um, what did? 24th and the 25th of April, my friend. I think I said February. That's April. Not this April. And that ain't no April Fools. That ain't no lie. <laughs> and uh, it's the 24th is Colin Murphy and Friends, and the 25th is Colin Gaddis and Friends. Get your tickets on Eventbrite. At the Terrace Laughs Instagram page. The link is in their bio. Yeah, get your tickets, bitch. Get your tickets, bitch. <laughs> That's it. What are you saying, eh, brother? It's Arn, Arn Martin. Uh, oh, introduce the episode. Okay, so we'll, we'll introduce it and they'll throw this, at this, this shit at the start. <laughs> hey, guys, welcome to episode six. Episode the- seven, lad. Is it? Episode well, seven. Uh, you are genuinely the worst person at introducing <laughs> this thing. <laughs> I don't know, I'm taking reins. I'm taking. Welcome reins, to right? episode seven. Well, welcome to episode. That's seven. racist. You're off. You're off <laughs> introducing fucking. That's it. <laughs> yeah, you're off introducing duties. Uh, this is episode seven of Absolutely Shafted with me, Aaron Martin, and me, James McKegney. Big Gaylord McKegney. All right. Um, welcome <laughs> and uh, enjoy the episode. Yeah. Cover a range of topics, including R and getting cigarettes. Yeah, yeah. we'll soon have the chain smokers on. Yeah, the here. chain smokers coming on. Um, thanks for listening and all your continued support, everybody. It's been real. It's been a real thrill ride doing this podcast, and uh, it's but it's growing every week. 
And uh, we really appreciate you all. Thanks very much. Thanks for listening, guys. Enjoy the episode. Then it starts playing in. Oh, you all the way back. Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, goodbye, good friends, goodbye. Should we sing that for the end? And now it's, it's time, time to go. go. The moon, the bear, and the big blue house will be waiting for you to come and play. To come and play. Goodbye now. To come and play. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> That's how they go. At the end of the episode, they go goodbye now. I remember, at, like, see when we were download at night, I kept singing out and people just started singing along. Oh, really? Every time I went down the tent, I was like, goodbye, goodbye. Or I'd play out the phone and everyone would start singing it because everyone was going to bed. It was great. That's class, man. Wow.